What are the molecular techniques for cloning a gene? Well, after isolating and purifying the DNA containing the desired gene, use restriction enzymes, which can cut DNA at specific sites, to separate the desired gene from the rest of the DNA. Use the same restriction enzymes to open up plasmids, circular pieces of DNA, and insert the desired gene. The complementary ends will match and stick together. We then transform bacteria to incorporate the plasmids containing the desired gene. These bacteria begin to grow into large colonies that can be seen with the naked eye. At this point, we can identify the bacteria that have successfully incorporated the desired gene. In many cases, antibiotic resistance is included in the plasmid. Taking advantage of this resistance, we can put the bacteria on a plate with antibiotics. The bacteria that survive have successfully incorporated the plasmid. However, the bacteria may have incorporated part of the plasmid without incorporating the desired gene. Sometimes, the bacteria with the desired gene will turn a different color from the bacteria without the desired gene. To ensure that the bacteria do contain the gene, we can check the bacterial colonies' color. Then we can isolate these bacterial colonies, which now consist of many bacteria, all potentially containing the desired gene. Cloned genes have many uses in research in medicine. 